Today we are making super quick pickles that require no canning skills and only 5 minutes of effort. It's another recipe inspired by my wonderful Japanese instructor Elizabeth Endo and her Washaku cookbook. All sorts of veggies could be used for this preparation. 12 hours in the brine and you have the most crunchy, tangy, healthy and terribly addictive snack. Let's start with the brine. You'll need 100 grams of unseasoned rice wine vinegar. The label on your bottle should only list rice wine vinegar as an ingredient. No salt, no sugar, nothing else. 100 grams of water, 20 grams of sugar and 12 grams of kosher salt. Yes, you can measure everything by volume, but it makes measuring salt a bit more complicated since the volume depends on which brand of salt you use, but the weight doesn't. The brand recipe, both by weight and volume, is on my blog linked below this video. Stir the brand together until salt and sugar are dissolved. The veggies I usually use for pickles are zucchini, cut into one-third inch circles, red onion, cut into one-eighth inch half circles, radishes, cut in half, and then cut into wedges. Today I'll also experiment with very slender French green beans and cauliflower cut into small florets. While the measurements in the brine are really important, the measurements of aromatics are not, and you're welcome to improvise with this part. Let's stuff our jars with a large sprig of dill, a little piece of bay leaf, some whole black peppercorns, about quarter teaspoon per jar, some whole coriander seeds, about quarter teaspoon per jar also, a whole peeled garlic clove, and if you want them to be spicy, put in a pinch of red chili flakes. I like to add some red onions to whatever veggies I'm using because they lend a lovely savoriness to the pickles. Everything besides dill and garlic is optional, so don't let the lack of a few ingredients stop you. Stuff the veggies into jars, packing them very tightly. Pour in your brine. My three little jam jars of 13 ounces each needed a double recipe of the brine. If you have brine leftovers, save it for the next time. There is nothing in it that's perishable. Push the veggies into the brine. Put on the lids. Pat yourself on the back and bask in your domestic diva hood. Let your pickles sit at room temperature overnight and they're ready to eat. After the first 12 hours, store them in the fridge. Don't be surprised if your radishes turn a fun salmon color. That's perfectly normal and very pretty. Mm. The cauliflower is my favorite. This is a really awesome thing to serve with burgers or anything else off the grill. But my favorite way to enjoy these pickles is on baguette, slathered with butter, with a glass of a crisp summer wine. Maybe Vino Verde or Grüner Weltliner. Let me try a green bean. <laughs> Not bad, but I think they could benefit from a brief blanching before pickling. That's good to know for the next time. You can keep the pickles in the fridge for a couple of weeks. They haven't been pasteurized or canned properly, so this is not something to put in your pantry for the winter. But since they never last more than three days in my house, that's not such a big problem. Ideas for other veggies to pickle are on my blog, linked below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.